This is Cindy Nanke, and this is a tutorial on using iMovies for video modeling. Video modeling is a technique used for teaching students with special needs desired tasks. You can find additional presentation materials on video modeling at my website, universaltechforlearning.com. Let me talk a minute about video modeling before we go on with the iMovies tutorial. We need to do some planning before we make our video. We need documentation in the means of having a photo release. We need to have done assessment, uh, determine the behavior we want to change and what we want to change it to. We need task analysis so that we know what steps we need to videotape. And then we can go on with planning for um, data collection and sharing. My subject for this video project is Miss Putty. I've done an assessment. We'd like to teach her how to bathe. We can see she's totally off task. So we're going to use a peer model, Mr. Pearl, to help teach Miss Putty how to bathe. I need no video releases on these two, so documentation is complete. I've done a task analysis and know the steps I want to include in my project. First I'm going to show you the completed video and then we will look at the steps for editing iMovies. Wash your feet. Wash your ears. Wash your legs. Here Miss Putty has learned how to take a bath. I'm going to open the iMovies icon from the lower left hand corner of my screen. This window has a menu across the top starting with the upper left hand corner download button. You can retrieve video from iCloud, iTunes, and other locations on your device. The video menu has all of the videos that are stored on your device. The project menu includes any working projects in iMovies. The theater menu, you can save your project to theater menu when it's complete. The upper right hand corner, you have a question mark. This is your help menu. Yellow tabs will appear depending on the screen that you're in and it will give you direction for each action. In the lower left hand corner it will take you to uh, the full help menu for iMovies. Now let's create a new project. We'll click the plus to create a new movie project. That'll take us to the next window. And on the bottom, we'll click Create Movie. This window is our editing window. The upper left-hand corner is our preview window. The upper right-hand corner is our media, where we can retrieve video and photos, as well as audio. Audio includes any songs we have saved on our device, as well as theme songs and sound effects. The lower window is our timeline where we do all of our editing, cropping, and audio. We can add video clips from the media window. We can click on a clip and press play to preview. We can click the plus to drop the video into our timeline. We can pinch and stretch this video clip. A larger clip will be easier to edit. We can highlight this clip and crop from either end. In your timeline, when your clip is highlighted, you have an additional menu for editing. You can split your clip, you can detach your audio, you can delete a highlighted item by dragging it to the top of your screen or hitting the trash button. 
You can duplicate a clip. You can adjust the speed for slow motion. You can adjust the volume. And you can add text and filters. For video modeling, I would recommend you keep your video very clean. When you have completed your video project, click Done in the upper left-hand corner. This will take you to the Details page. Here you can preview your video in full screen. You can name your video. You can see the length of your video, the date that it was created. Also from your details page is where you will upload your video. You can save it to Facebook or YouTube, but for video modeling, I will often save it to my iMovies Theater, also my photo album, as then it's available to use in future iMovie projects. And for sharing with teachers and parents, I will save it to Google Drive. There certainly are more tips and tricks to editing in iMovies, but for the purpose of video modeling, this is a wrap. Please see my website for additional presentation materials at www.universaltechforlearning.com. Thank you.